What you are looking for shall yes. look for you. Amen. What you look for shall look for you. Amen. The blessings you are looking for shall look for you. Amen. The favor you are looking for shall look for you. Amen. The business breakthrough shall look for you. Amen. The connection shall look for you. Amen. The celebration shall look for you. Amen. The testimony shall look for you. Amen. Receive. I receive. Receive. I receive. Receive. I receive. Receive. Say, Lord, I need your grace. I need your grace to hearken to, to your word to your word and to obey and to obey your instructions. your instructions clap your hands and pray the prayer in Jesus mighty name we pray amen sit down permit me to step down open your two hands one thing you must know God can never lie. Amen. Yes. There is no promises God has made that he wouldn't want to bring into reality. Yes, Lord. I pray for you as your two hands are open. Every promises of God Jesus. for you and your entire household. Yes, Lord. As your amen come better, let there be manifestation. Amen. The Bible says, Jesus turned to them and said to them, go and get water pot. In Africa, we call it water pot. Here, I think, is, is it water pot? This is one country I was preaching a little child came to me, my God, right on the altar. He said, no, it's not poor. It's poor. <laughs> Hi, prophet Churchy. It's not poor. It's poor. Then I turned back to the child. I said, I can't. <laughs> Whatever you call it. Now, looking at this, there is no relationship with wine, pot, and water. Don't forget, people we are standing, that we are still waiting to see that embarrassment we clear off. Ah! Some persons we are already waiting to leave so they could go spread that ugly news. Yes. Are you aware that not everyone who sees your breakthrough that is happy? Yes, sir. There are some persons who come around you on daily basis, not because they love you, but they are looking for one error mm. they can find yes, and then use it against you. See? That's it. That is why, as a child of God, you must be spiritually sensitive mm. to know the people you open your door for. Yes, Lord. You must be spiritually sensitive to know the people you... Son was bad. These people never bargained as such. We come up on a day like that. Yes, Lord. I don't know if you could feel that embarrassment. Mm. Whenever you read the Bible, that is why the Bible says we shouldn't just wait. He said, meditate. Meditate, close your eyes. Do you know why the China every year comes out with something? God's servant. A Chinese man can stay like this. 
for hours. What is he doing? Meditating. God, sorry. Go to any country, Chinese are dominating. Yeah, no matter how small the country is, you will see Chinese company there. Yes, Lord. Yet, they don't read the Bible you and I read. You just read the manual of life. You don't meditate in it. That's why no matter how many days you come for conference, you still go back empty. Say, God forbid. God forbid. Say, in this conference, this conference, I refuse to leave here empty. I refuse to leave here empty. You don't meditate. The Bible says in Psalms 24, the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. Another translation will say, the earth is of the Lord and the people in it. So, even the president of this country is of my God. He has no choice to deny me what I want. The people of this country have no choice. That company that needs to employ you or employ your son, employ your daughter. From today, they have no other choice than to give that employment. Yes, Lord. The oh. earth, the earth, is of the Lord, yes, Lord. and the fullness thereof. The man that will help you is not in heaven, he's here. Yes. The woman that will connect you to someone that knows someone that knows someone that knows someone that knows someone is not in heaven, he's here. Yes, Lord. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, read that scripture. Let's see. Deuteronomy 8:18. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. <laughs> But thou shalt remember the Lord thy remember God. Remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. The power for wealthiness doesn't come from any opium. It doesn't come from any other source. Yes, it cometh from your God. Yes, Lord. That he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy father. There is an existing covenant yes, Lord. that God have with our ancestors. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. There is an existing covenant, and the Lord vowed that He will bless Abraham and his descendants by faith. Biblically, we are the descendants of Abraham. Yes, Lord. We are Abrahamic descendant. Yes, Lord. So there is a covenant that our God established with our ancestor. Oh, my Yamaka Santa Rebosa. Zena Lerosi. Maya. But because we don't even know that there is an inheritance of your great grandfather somewhere that is supposed to be for you. But because you don't know, someone somewhere is enjoying it. Yes, Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, there is an inheritance of your great grandparents yes, that somebody is enjoying. Yes, because the rightful owner have not come to claim it. Yes, Today in this conference, hey. before you leave here, yes, all your inheritance Jesus. that you don't even know where they are, Lord. God will empower you to claim Amen. them. An empowerment is coming on you. Amen. Divine empowerment is coming. Amen. You will claim your inheritance. Yes, Lord. You will claim your inheritance. Yes, Lord. You will claim your inheritance. Yes, Lord. You will claim your inheritance. Say that. Power. The Bible says, and instruction was given, and these people stood up. They went. And gather empty pot. 
and went and drew water immediately. Why they were doing that? Jesus got provoked. Remember, he was never interested. He said to Mary, it's not my time. That means there is something you can do today. Even if it's not your time for yes. marital settlement, yes, God can turn things around. Amen. Yes. It's not my time. Mary turned back. It's not his time though. But whatsoever you hear him say, please obey. So obedient can turn things around Amen. in a second. Yes, Lord. In a twinkle of an eye. Yes, Lord. What they say cannot happen can suddenly begin to happen. Yes, Lord. In a twinkle of an eye. Yes, Lord. The door they say can never open can suddenly open. Yes. Oh, Yanama Koshata. In a second, the breakthrough, the blessings, the restoration, the second never come. What the second never happen can suddenly happen by one obedience. Yes, Lord. Powerful. Just one obedience. Just one obedience. Lift up your hands to heaven. Say, Father. Father, in this meeting, in this meeting, give me the grace, give me the grace to obey your word. Obey your word. Bring your hand. Obedient is a key. I wish in this church I shared with us briefly some testimonies. One of the ones that whenever I share it, I wonder how it happened. Is my child bearing? I shout it. I shout it every moment. Because I could still picture how the doctor told me. He said, Hey, we saw that the womb cannot be able to contain a child. My womb say yes. My womb say yes. Me say yes. I say not me. Amen. Listen. Two can never work together except by agreement. Yes, Lord. Anything that is not of God that suddenly show up around you mm. is a total stranger. Yes, Lord. You must wake up every morning and say to that stranger, you have no place here. See? You must go. Yes, Lord. You have no place. Hey. Disappointment you have no place. Yes, you must go. go. Rising and falling. You must go. Rejection. You must go. Failure. You must go. Sickness. You must go. Bad experiences. You must go. Enemies fighting. You must go. Come on, jump up and shut them. Must go. Must go. See that? that trouble is a stranger. Are you aware that any kind of sickness that show up yes, Lord. in one's life is a spirit? Yes. Mm -hmm. There is a spirit that governs everything. Yes, Lord. So whenever you see that spirit that is not in accordance, is not in alignment mm. with the promise of God yes, Lord. in your life. Mm. What do you do? Wake up and call that spirit your spirit of delay. Yes, Lord. You have no business with my destiny. Mm. Your spirit of stagnation. You have no business with my life. Yes, your spirit Spirit of hatred. Oh, there is someone here. People hate you for no reason. Yes, Lord. That spirit leaves you now. Amen. Every wow. spirit, spirit of receiving bad reward from people you did good for. Mm. Stretch your hands. Bishop, the 
is nothing as painful as singing whom you showed love turn back against you. Yes, Lord. If there is any prayer I pray for my life, I say, God, please, may those who show me kindness never any day regret yes, Lord. why they have ever showed me kindness. Yes, Lord. May they never see any reason to regret yes, Lord. why they showed me love. Mm. And anyone here, you experience people you help, people you stand for, mm. people you show kindness, mm. they turn back to pay you with evil. That spirit yes, Lord. that made you receive bad for good see? as your amen come better with to get out. Amen. In the name of Jesus, get out. Amen. Of our ways, get out. Amen. Out. Amen. Out. Amen. Out. Amen. Out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Power. Hear me. I beg of you before I move on. If you are also in this house, and for any reason, you see yourself hurting those who have shown you kindness. Please repent. Please repent. Please repent. I beg you. Because there is a reckoning day. A day of reckoning. Where a book will be open. And the pain you cost someone who never meant evil for you will be opened. Yourself, check your daily life. I was asking a lady one of the days, I said, What you've done, how does this seem right to you? That a friend saw you stranded and brought you into her home for you to spend some days while you, you stand, you bounce back to feet and move on. The next you did was to get pregnant for her husband. How? I beg you, examine yourself. Examine the things you do. Examine your life. Examine people who are close to you. How have you treated them? Do a personal check on yourself. I do a personal check on myself every day. Every day. And that have helped me to be so careful. I was telling my brother morning. I said in the next 24 hours. 24 months which is 2 years from now. There are people I can never preach for. I was telling him. I said there are people I can never take their invitation. And, and uh, what I am praying, I trust God he will grant me that request. Just watch her for 30 minutes. Under that 30 minutes, whatever God wants to do for you, through my voice, he will do it. Yes, Examine yourself. Let me drop this. I don't want to shoot from my message. Live your life every day like the owner of the life is coming that day. You don't own your life. If you live your life like the way I see many people in America live their life, like your men. <laughs> and they put all their gold, put all that I mean. And you, which day, which day, who, oh, okay, you see, <laughs> is he in Florida or where? We were inviting somebody to church. He said, you fuck you with your church, man. I don't go to church, I don't, hey. I wish I know how to speak it. I don't blah blah blah. I don't be free, 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 free. Stretch your live your life every day like the owner of the life is coming that day. Stretch your hands. I pray for someone. Yes, Lord. Mayana Liros Camp Brando Anything 
in your life that have been released to cause you embarrassment, shame, and pain. God is taking them away now. Go and fill the pot with water. We need wine. And you are telling us to fill water with pot. They didn't argue. There is no place for arguments. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning. <laughs> you are God all by yourself. Say you are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for argument. You are God by yourself. Go get the boat and the water and the ship is limited. Elohim, yes, Lord. the one that can make something out of nothing. Yes. Elohim, the one who created the heaven and the earth and created all that we are created, yet he was created by nothing. The one who can say yes and no power can say no. The one who opened and no power can shut. And the one that shut, no power can open. Mandale koprando zikaya. In a little show, one day the Bible says, and he went to a prophet by name called Ezekiel, and he said, Ezekiel, may I show you things happening? And Ezekiel followed him, and they went and came before the valley. We are only dry bones, we are all heaped. And he said to Ezekiel, can this bone live again? I love Ezekiel. He's a man of understanding. He understands how God moves. Maybe you may question yourself. Why is God asking Ezekiel? Can this bone live? God wants to see the level of Ezekiel understanding. Oh, Yamasikaya. In the midst of challenges, what God wants from you is not just your tears. He wants your understanding to rise and make understanding of what he can do anytime, any day. Am I talking to somebody here? The Bible says, you see, they replied to him, thou knowest. Get water and pot. Does he have anything to do with wine? He could have asked them to take money and go across and get wine. Maybe that was what they were expecting. But he gave them another instruction. That is to say, God works in diverse means. No. You may be expecting him to show up from one direction and he will choose to show up in this other direction. Yes, you may be expecting him to bless you from this direction and he chooses to use another direction yes, to bless Lord. you. Whichever way you choose to bless me, all I need is the blessings of yes, God. Lord. I prophesy to you, yes, he will bless you. 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 He will bless you. He will bless you. Amen. Power. I chose to bless me. However, he chooses. Whomever he chooses. Whatever he chooses to use. All I need is his blessings. Get what I bought. That little boy will tell me it's water pour. It's water pour. Go get water 
and get bored and start feeling. To me, that looks like extra work, Bishop. I am talking about wine is gone. And you are giving me extra work. Get bored is a work. Get the water is another work. Filling the water is another work. Oh my God. That means the Bible didn't mix it when it said to us, with God, all things are possible. It didn't say for God. For God means God all alone. With God means humanity and divinity. Yes, you have something to do yes. and God has a part to play. That is a part you need to play yes, and God has a part to play. Yes, my prayer for you in this conference, yes. every part you need to play, yes. no demon will stop you from playing yeah. your part. Power. Give me a few minutes to hand over to the major prophet so he can handle it prophetically. Cut out the hand of They obeyed sheepishly. Do you know why God didn't choose to call us goat? He didn't call us ram. He called us sheep. Sheep, I don't know what you call it. In my language, it's atom. Sheep, you know, sheep. When you when goats, you do goat. Goat will move. But sheep, see. You have to push you. <laughs> Bible color sheep. For you to get to a realm where you begin to enjoy certain blessings of Elohim, you must bring your spirit like the sheep he colors. A realm where you will be obeying God. People will ask you, Are you normal? Are you okay? Are you fine? Like I was telling us the story when doctor said they didn't see that my womb prophetess H. Israel will carry children. I came back home that night. I was crying. When I was crying, the angel of the Lord came to me and said, It's not a matter of crying. That means in life. It's not how long you cry that can settle the case. It is paying attention to divine order that can settle the matter. It's not the tears. If tears can handle matter, there are people that could have received a word in crying. I don't know whether anybody in America have not seen, have ever received a word for crying. <laughs> <laughs> and they gave the if you have seen, tell me, let me go because I need to cry my own. I will need some award. Crying does not bring change to matter. Even if issues come around that breaks you and you cry, it's normal. But don't continue in tears without asking God, what do I do? That night I was crying and the angel of the Lord came. He said, wipe your tears. Why are you crying? Are you not the one who have prayed for people and they conceive and they dedicate their child? Why are you crying? Why not ask God what to do? Then I turned my tears. Lord, what do I do? Tell me what to do. I followed you all my life. I gave my youthful age to you. I lived a sacrificial life for you. What do you want me to do? Tell me what you want me to do. While I was crying, the Lord said, first thing in the morning, tell your husband, the gift that was given to us on our wedding day, I have started pastoring over 1,000 capacity church before I wedded. I've started pastoring over four years ago. 
he said, on my wedding day, two of my spiritual children bought us car. Some bought one car, some bought one car. Then we have a whole lot of gifts. The Lord said, take the valuable gifts. All. Go give it to a pastor. Tell him to sell the ones he wants to sell. Then let them build, complete the church building and do what they call personage. Personage is the church, in the church vineyard, they build house there. The pastor live also. Back in Africa, I don't know about here. So like if the church building, behind the church building, they build pastor's house. Yes, we call it personage. Pastor's house. So let him sell some and then do the pastor's house. So that the pastor will not be staying as, as tenant. God is in our means as I share this testimony. And then I told my husband, I said, God have given us solution. He said, what solution? I shared with him. <laughs> He asked me, you mean God said we should take the two cars or one? <laughs> I said, he said two. Not only the two, the valuables, the fridge, the TV, anything valuable. He said, don't you think we should go back to God in prayer? <laughs> you know, there is an instruction the Lord will give. You will be moved to ask those questions. I said, no. He told me. He said, don't you think we should fast and he can change it? I said, he said this morning. Are you aware that when God appeared to Abraham, by then he was still Abraham. He said, go to Melchizedek. Go and give him your one tenth. He said, go. He, he, he mentioned him specifically. Go to. The Bible made us know that where Melchizedek was living, it's like somebody, the angel of the Lord, asking you to move from here to Africa. To go and look for a man and honor him in order for you to be blessed. Read your Bible. Time will not permit me. It was after Abraham honored God that the blessings that was hanging for years began to manifest. The question is this. Have he not been honoring God? He has been honoring. There is a kind of honor that provokes certain blessings. Lift your right hand and say, Lord, Lord, the honor, the honor that we provoke, that we provoke my bouncing back. Bouncing give, back. Me give me the grace to honor, you. to honor you. Put your hand on your chest. Put your hand on your chest. Devil is a pretender. See the devil that day pretending. And then he said, Maybe we should go back to God in prayer. But the Lord spoke audibly. There are times when God wants to give you an opening and then he's leading you with instruction. The devil will come behind you and say, remember. 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 The devil will pretend to be your friend. But if you can jack up and say, devil, you lie. Put your hand on your chest. Say, Father. Father. All I need today. All I need today. The last day. The last day of this conference. This conference is your grace. Is your grace. Release it to me. Release it to me. Lord. Lord. Whatever I need to do. Whatever I need to do. For you to bless me. For you to bless me. For me to bounce back. For me to bounce back. Give me the grace. Give me the grace. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let me hear that amen like thunder. Amen. Now, the morning 
we went and called an open, I don't know how you call it here, the kind of bus that have opening that can carry load. How do you call it? The bo- eh? A truck? A pickup truck. Thank you. And the truck came and we called some persons. They helped us carry the fridge. Carry carried everything valuable. Then we sheepishly drove the two cars. Listen. When we got to the church auditorium, pastor came out. Said, what is going on? He said, if there is issue, we could have called him so that he come to the house and pray. We said, no issue. We came for an assignment. And we began to offload everything. When we finish, we now drop the two car keys. He said, what is going on? We said, God said, sell the ones you will sell. But make sure the personage, that is the pastor's house, is completed. So that you don't live as tenant. By then, the pastor lives as tenant. So, so you don't live as tenant. And then the church, the places that are not well in order, put them in order. He said, need and let's pray. By then, I don't know whether I'm even on my senses. I don't even say need and I was all I see tears. My husband was just we finished the instruction. We went back home. We were not fasting but we could not eat. They that sow in tears or in pain. Sometimes what you think you have given to God in your heart you felt there is something you've given. There is a kind of seed you sow. Everything in you tells you you have you have touched God. They that sow tears we could not eat the following day until the following day. To cut the long story short a month later I wasn't feeling strong. I was so feverish. And my husband said, let's go to the clinic. I stood up. We went to the clinic. And while doctor was running tests, we were waiting for the test. He came out. He said, prophetess, you are pregnant. Pregnant? Are you not the one that said my womb? You say, this doctor don't know what he's saying. One day, in one day, I went to a different clinic to make sure, five different clinics, to make sure whether it's dream. After the last one confirmed, I was pregnant. I went back home. They that saw in tears shall reap in joy. May I pray for you before we move on. Every situation that have caused you sleepless night, at the end of this conference, there will be overflowing joy. Nine months later, the first child came. I was still breastfeeding the child three months. Fever started. We went to hospital. Doctor said, you are pregnant. The one I'm breastfeeding is just three months. Yeah. Nine months later, I gave birth to a boy and a girl. Twins. I was still breastfeeding twins in three months. Fever came again. My mind skipped. Prophesy to you, rise to your feet. I went back to the hospital. He was shaking me. Doctor said, Prophetess, what is going on? You are pregnant again. 
Anything that causes you shame yes, shall turn around for your celebration. Amen. For your celebration. Amen. For your celebration. Amen. For your celebration. Amen. Say, Lord, Lord, give me, give me celebration. Celebration. Double, 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 double. In place, in place of my mockery. Of my mockery. Of my, of my pain. Of my pain. Of my shame. Of my shame. Open your mouth and cry to God. Elohim Adonai Stretch your two hands. Child of God. All my children are grown. You wouldn't know who's senior who. All their head are the same. They're all grown. Elohim Adonai. Open your hands. They obeyed. Suddenly, the governors who were waiting in that occasion, who already felt disappointed, suddenly began to confess. Where have you kept this good wine? Whose good wine? Water poured. Water poured wine. Whose wine? He can make nothing happen in the means. Make something happen in the means of nothing. He can create that something for your turn around in the means of nothing. Yes, he can make ways where there seems to be no way. Jeez. He can bring a turn around where the enemies have concluded nothing good can come out. Yes, Stretcher is a father. Father, I am here in this conference. I am here in this conference. My Lord. My Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Lord. Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Visit my case. Visit my case. Lord. Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Visit my family. Visit my family. Lord. Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Change my story. Change my story. Lord. Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Turn my tears. Turn my tears into laughter. Into laughter. Clap your hands and begin to pray that. For Lord Jesus, Mahapa, Libanada, Nabaha, Risa, Dabaka, Libaha, Dada, Nabaha. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. God is ever ready to move in the directions. Yes, Lord. Of those that sheepishly obey him. Yes, Lord. I'll take one prayer, I'm done. Go write it down. God will visit your mother's children. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Write it down. 
and see your mother's children crying. Stretch your hands. If anyone tell you that there is no possibility with God, mm. tell them to shut up. Yes. The same woman, same, same woman. They are all grown. They are all grown. By April, the last, I think that will be their birthday, April 11th, 14th, 14th, 14th birthday. That's for the last. So they are grown. Samsung Stretches say Lord Lord every impossibility every impossibility over my expectation over my expectation make it possible make it possible open your mouth and cry to God make impossibility possible Before COVID, somewhere, I think it's in this Brooklyn. Before I came for that ministration, the Lord said to me, As you are about to fly, He said, There is a man of God whom, when it rains, you know, water gets fueled of the church back in Africa, where they call Omaha. He said to me, before you travel to America, follow me strongly. Maybe most of this testimony I've shared it. He said, close your account. Send in the money. Tell him to roof the church. Close my account. Then the only thing that runs to my mind, he have never failed. If that is what he wants, I have no choice. I sent the money to the man of God after I asked him to send this account. He called me and said, woman of God, it's like you have made a mistake. I said, I made no mistake. God said, use that money. Roof the church. Hey, woman of God, woman of... I off my phone. And I said, God... I have honored you again. I came to preach a family we are in the church. And the Holy Spirit said, there is a family here. Yo, someone close is sick in the hospital. And the family came out. And they said, their mother had been in coma for five months. That they just want God to take her. That she have suffered and they to their suffering. I said, but the Lord said, he is, she is going to come back. 
And one of them whispered to me, woman of God, we love your ministry. Don't say something that will not happen. I said, I didn't say, not said what God said to me. God said. To cut the long story short, the following day of the conference, before we could go to the conference, everywhere was jammed. The testimony of the family, God that same night visited the woman. And that family, we are a blessing. That's number one. In that same conference, a husband and wife had a dream one night. This one dream and shared with the husband. This one dream, it was the same meaning. They came to me and said, God said they should close their accounts and give everything in their account that as I go back to Africa, I should use it for the work of God. Remember, I was coming to America. God said, close your account and roof the, the church that was leaking. And then God told the husband and wife, child of God, don't ask me how much they give. But what they gave was 50 or 100 times bigger than what I gave. That is how God honors those that honor him. Right now, I want you to stretch your hands to the altar. Say, Father, Father, I will not miss my blessing. I will not miss my blessing. In this conference. In this conference. Hear me. You can attend one million conference in a year. But out of them all, there is one prepared for your blessing. Yes, Lord. That is why you must not allow devil to speak to you when it comes to obeying divine instruction. You can attend one million conference in a year. But there is one. And you see the funniest part? You never can tell the one God wants to use to bless you. You're always looking beautiful. Welcome. How is your hand? You're fine? You're strong? Open your two hands. Say, Lord. Lord. In thy name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will not miss. I will not miss. My blessing. My blessing. Open your mouth and make that prayer. In the name of Jesus. I will not miss my blessing. 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 In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Open your hands like you are expecting something. Wonderful, marvelous are the works of my God. We praise you, our God. Wonderful, marvelous are the works of our God. We praise you, our God. Open your hands. As your hands are open, I see God dropping honey into your hands. Whatsoever they took from you, restoration and part your hands. Amen. Carry your wine or your fruit juice. Wonderful, Babylon, the walls of our God. We praise your name. Get your wine, everybody. Wonderful, 
Madeline are the ones of my God. We praise your name. Who tampered with my wine? Do you know that not everybody who comes for your celebration actually came to celebrate with you? Yes, Lord. There are some that want to see how your joy can suddenly turn to sorrow. Someone, mommy, who came for the occasion, stole the wine. The wine was nowhere to be found. Who tampered with it? What happened to it? What happened to that marriage? What happened to the life of that son? What happened to that daughter? What happened to that family? What happened? Who tampered? Who tampered? Who tampered? Can you begin to cry to God in few minutes? Restore me, Lord. Who tampered with my celebration? Who tampered with that joy? Who tampered with that marriage? Who tampered with that breakthrough? Who tampered with my finance? Who tampered with my health? Who tampered with my breakthrough? Who tampered? Who tampered? Who tampered? Who tampered? Who tampered? Can you begin to cry to God? The Bible said there are wine we are tampered with. But thank God for the miracle of Jesus. Lord, I did miracle. Of restoration, who tampered with my children' greatness, who tampered with my marital joy, who tampered with my promotion, who tampered with my health, who tampered with my peace, who tampered, who tampered, who tampered, oh Lord, restore me, oh Lord, revive me, who tampered with my joy, open your mouth and begin to cry to God. Who tampered with my brother's life? Who tampered with my sister's life? Who tampered with my family? Hey, Yada. All my life you have been faithful. Sing that song. All my life you have been so, so. Amen. 
mysterious ways. Hear me. If there is any disease in your system at the end of this conference, I stand in thy name of Jesus and I decree as you take the wine, it will become a disease killing wine. If you have been facing disappointment, rejection, delay, confusion, frost, near success syndrome, your children have not been doing well, your marriage has been so frustrating, you don't know whom to complain to anymore. You don't know what to do. I want you to picture the situation those family we are into. Picture that situation. Picture the situation that Jesus suddenly turned around. Can you picture that embarrassing situation? Whatsoever that has been causing you embarrassment, today a turnaround is coming. Now close your eyes. Stretch the wine to the altar. Can you see what Jesus did in Galilee? I want you to see. Picture it. <laughs> Picture it. Keep meditating. You have two minutes to do that meditation. Wherever you are, picture. <laughs> Can I have one for myself? Picture. Picture, picture. Don't look at nobody. This is not time to talk. This is not time to talk. This is not time to move around. Can your eyes see what he did? Can you see how water in the boat suddenly turned to the best wine? Who said nothing good can come out of your life? Who said things can never turn around for you and your family? Who said you can't succeed in America? Who said so? Who said so? Who said your hands cannot touch money? Who said so? Who said you can't be promoted? Who said you are going to die untimely day? Who said you will die untimely? Who said so? Who said so? Who said you can't succeed? Who said? Who said so? Can you start seeing what Jesus is doing? I want your eyes to see what is happening spiritually. Something is happening where you are already. There is a miracle already taking place. There is a miracle taking place. I see transformation on the wine. I see Jesus breathing on your wine. I see the hand of Jesus touching your wine. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Let me hear that keyboard right now.
Testimony. The way it comes is the way it will come. Look at me here. Where others cannot enter easily, today you will begin to enter the air. Amen. Bring it low. Let's close. Let me close. Not, not Mayor Bishop. I mean, let me stop. So I'll hand over to Bishop to round you up. I don't know if I remember sharing with us that I was traveling to preach in a country and Nigerian people there, some boys there fought and the country out of anger said no Nigeria that day we enter. Did I share that testimony on this altar? Is this, this is Discovery Church, is it not? And everyone who flew down to that country at the airport, they asked all the Nigerians to go one side, waiting for the next available flight to return them. So that that will be a way to pass message to Nigerian government of what their boys have done. I pulled back on that long queue and began to speak to the earth. The earth is of my God and the fullness thereof. The Bible says, go ye into the earth and preach this gospel. I came here to preach the gospel. I don't know what verdict giving, but I will cross. How will you cross the everybody? I mean everybody. It's not like they choose few persons. Everybody from Nigeria, from different, is being packed. And they want to return them back. Amen. Amen. Then I said, no. Because before I started the journey, I was also left with an instruction. I obeyed God. What was that instruction? God judge my speech. Judge my lips. Just as I was, about, I was about traveling, it was a service like this in our Lagos branch. God told me, bless all the widows. And I called all the widows. I said, God, sir, she bless you people. I brought a certain amount of money, gave them, they were so happy. And I said to them, pray for me. I didn't know what I was going to meet. But I honored God's instruction. Child of God. 
while everybody we are done, I was the last person approaching the immigration officer. I believe the lady got angry because she felt maybe I wasn't serious. So she picked a call and began to talk. She ignored me. She talked for more than 30 minutes. Like, I believe in her mind she was saying, when you finish working one one, come and mandate me to, to see you. I don't know if you're getting that. Ordinarily, I'm not supposed to go before her because everybody with green passport, Nigeria, is already going one side. But I kept my passport, opened it, then I was holding it like this. She was making call. She made call and made call and made call and started laughing. I don't know what happened. Maybe they say so. She laughed and laughed and laughed and with that joy. She said, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your passport. Then I opened it. I didn't show you. I just didn't. She didn't also check the green. Normally she's supposed to check the passport. Or even as she opened it, you will see Nigeria. She didn't. Her brain didn't go to Nigeria. Her brain didn't go to anything. When she was making the call, Jehovah Yahweh was busy making way yeah. and removing her brain. Yeah. The next thing she did, mm. she took her stamp and stamped my passport. Pam, pam, ah! I moved. My host pastor, woman of God, how? I mean, I said, let's go. Like, what's happened? How did it happen? Let's go first. Let's go. You, how did you pray? I said, let's go. We make a miracle walk a promise. Come on, let's go. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. We make a miracle walk. race. It's a decisional race. I love Abraham so much that no matter how he loved Sarah, when it come to destiny race, he decided to honor God. On the very day God said, give me Isaac. What? He could have gone to the wife and said, see, See what God said. He stood to take that decision. Life is decisional. The difference between you and anyone on top is just that person, divine chance. Divine. Divine chance. Divine opportunity. Yesterday, I heard Bishop say, those who could come support the work. And I saw some persons looking. I want you to know that after this conference, money you never bargained for is coming into your hands from all around. Ah. Take a decision for God. There are ten of you here. Ten of you. Thus says God. Before I can't turn, don't let devil give you reason to stop one minute. You will take between a thousand dollar to two hundred dollar. Come. Between a thousand or five hundred or two hundred. Come to the altar. At the count of ten. One with your wine. When you come, you kneel down. 
and you open your wine, the moment I touch it, you will take your wine from the altar before you stand up. Ten of you come forward. One, two, three. Don't let that number conclude. Tell God, I have been honoring you. I choose under the voice of your servant to honor you again. Not because it's too sweet, but Lord, I can't hold back when your word has come to me. I believe you brought a word to me of miracle and transformation. I need it. I need it. Come forward. Between, you can give a thousand or five hundred or two hundred between that range. Please come. Please come. Come forward. I know my Redeemer leave it. Climb the altar. Tell Jesus what you want. And I know I said ten, remaining nine. I know you've not abandoned me. I know when the time shall come. The world we know that my Redeemer lives. I know I am very sure. I know He's not abandoned me. I know when the time shall come. My neighbors we know that. My Redeemer live. <laughs> if there is any time devil want to claim to be a nice friend, it's now. Remaining eight persons, take a walk with your wine to the altar. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know you've not abandoned me. I know when the time shall come. You have a thousand, you have five hundred, you have two hundred. Please come. I heard ten. God cannot lie unless you choose to make him a liar. Unless you choose to make him a liar, he doesn't lie. Eight of you in the crowd take a walk to the altar. Even Someone you are still battling with your spirit. Should I? Should I? Is God talking to me? Yes. He's talking to you on behalf of that your son, that your daughter, that situation. Come. You have a thousand, you have five hundred, or you have two hundred. Just to support the bills. Please come. I know. If not abandon me, I know when the time shall come. There is someone the Holy Spirit is strongly speaking to you and you are wrestling. Come forward. The world we know that my Redeemer live. I know my Redeemer live. I know my Redeemer live. Whether you are sitting or you are standing, I'd like you to walk out. There are eight of you. The Holy Ghost is already on the altar waiting. I know my Redeemer live. He's waiting to make something happen in the means of nothing. Aya. How can water in the pot become the best one? You want to give the best of all best breakthrough. Come forward. Come forward. I know my Redeemer live. There's a sister. The Lord said that body, he's taking them off. I'd like you to take a walk to the altar. I know my Redeemer live. He live forever more. 
I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. The Lord is speaking to your spirit. Run. My Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. Listen. The worst mistake devil will let you make any day, the worst mistake is for you to hear the voice of the Lord any day and harden your heart. The worst mistake the devil will push you to make is for you to dishonor the voice of the Lord. If you have Two hundred dollar, just to support the bills of this church. Please come. I know my redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my redeemer liveth. I know my redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. You are wise. There are certain day, certain angel comes. If you are not sensitive, you miss them. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer even. Seven of you are still struggling. He told me ten. Please come. I know my Redeemer living. He liveth forevermore. Yes, he liveth. He liveth. Yes, he liveth. He liveth. He liveth. He liveth. Someone, so many calculations is in your spirit. But the Lord said, He that checks the weather, so that checks the weather, He that checks the situation can never so. Can you, among the seven persons that are still sitting there, walk out of the crowd? And say, Lord, receive from me. Receive. Give me the best breakthrough. Where there seems to be no way. There is someone you are still struggling. Come. At the count of five, let grace help you. Come. One. My Redeemer, leave it. Two. Let grace help you. Come. I cannot do it by my own. Spirit take over. Checks the weather. Can never give. You can so. That is the word. He says, sow your seed in the morning. Sow at noon and sow in the evening. For you do not know the one that will germinate. Sow your seed in the morning. Sow at noon. Sow in the evening. The Bible says, For you do not know the one that will produce fruit. Spirit take over. Five of you are still struggling. Come forward. Take over, take over. Ayada. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, be in the mood of prayer. Don't let nothing disconnect your spirit. While you are praying, check your spirit very well. Check yourself. Is there anything that you can give in honor to the glory of your God? Is there anything? Is there anything? Is there anything you felt is too big to hold back from your God? 
Is there anything that is too big to hold? Is there anything? If God is asking for a $200 to support the bills, too many bills around the church, and you have it, don't hold back. Pharaoh let my people go. Jehovah God is calling them. Allow them go to their promised land. Pharaoh let my people go. In the next two minutes, somebody that is grace for you. The next two minutes. Jehovah God is calling them. Allow them go to their promised land. Pharaoh let my people go. Pharaoh let, Pharaoh let, Pharaoh let, Pharaoh let, Pharaoh let. Allow them go to their promised land. Pharaoh let my people go. Keep praying. Don't disconnect. There is one person in the crowd. The Holy Spirit is actually moving you to come to the altar and join. Can you rise and join? There is one person. One minute more. Don't let devil decide for you. Don't let situation decide for you. Take your stand and honor God if you can. You have 50 seconds left. Jehovah God is calling them. Allow them go to their promised land. You are very wise, mommy. Pharaoh let my people go. What shall I render unto Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. What shall I render unto Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Fifteen of you, you will run with total honor and expectation. You will take a hundred dollar, not because you have not been given, but this time is special. Run quickly. One, two, don't miss your number. Three, four, five, six, seven. Don't miss your number below. Eight. Nine. God cannot lie. Don't make him a liar. Ten. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. You carry my matter for your head. Oh. Like a little baby. In an easy baradiani. Zidadiga baradani. Zidada da 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 da. Oh. oh, oh. Ten of you sitting down, can you run? One, two, three, four, five, six. What do you think you have today that you can give to God? Do you know sometimes the Lord leaves you with a test? He said, let me see how this my child we at. If I finally bless him or her. It will always start from small. 
If you can't give God a hundred dollars to pay bill, even if God give you billion, you can't give him. Giving is in the spirit. Giving is in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. There are eight of you at the count of eight. One. You can't give him even if you have billion. It takes heart to give. I've made up my mind to honor my God. I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind to serve the Lord. Sometimes we sing and we don't even meditate on our song. To honor my God every day. I've made up my mind. <laughs> I've made up my mind to serve the Lord. Bishop, I didn't tell you. To serve the Lord. When you left, when you started coming to church... Uh, Pastor Ralph was getting ready, I say, to pick me. I said, we are going early. A bishop, friend, whom I will be preaching. Where is he come? New Jersey. While we are praying, as soon as he called me, he speaking in tongue. <laughs> and I joined him, I was speaking in tongue. The next thing I heard, don't ever disappoint God people. The church is kept. I am protecting the church. I am protecting the family. Don't ever disappoint God people. Any door I open for an invitation, honor it. Bishop, I have not discussed with that man of God. I only told my brother, my flight is on Monday. And suddenly they came up that I should preach in their Easter program. And I said, no. I have been battling with it. Even as of yesterday, I told him, I said, you're a prophet, you must prophesy over this matter. <laughs> I said, you must tell me what to, I want to go. The man of God, I did it, this is just the way he said, don't ever disappoint God people. I am protecting my church. I am protecting the family, you are in covenant with God. Don't ever. He, then he proceeded. He said, there is an invitation coming from Southern Arabia. Any moment as you go back to Nigeria, get ready for that invitation. He proceeded and mentioned three countries I will visit before the year runs out. Then he re-emphasized, don't ever. While he was talking about, don't ever turn down the invitation. My mind went straight. To the invitation I've already told my brother. In fact, today, he was telling me, how are you going to do that? I say, I won't go. I won't go. He now say, hey, you are missing husbandic. I don't know if he says husbandic <laughs> touch. <laughs> but you see how God spoke to me. Instantly, I changed my mind. How do you enter covenant of service? And when God needs you, you tell him story. Put that hundred dollar in your hand. What do you think is enough excuse to tell him no? At the count of eight, for those of you that are willing to honor him, come. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. To serve God, it takes heart. It takes 100% decision. I said, Bishop, Monday, I'm going. When the people call me, I will tell them I'm sorry. I 
and tell them I'm sorry. Only for the pastor friend I'm preaching tomorrow for in New Jersey. He just called me, telling me the time they will come and carry me tomorrow morning. Then he began to speak in tongue. I followed him to speak. The next thing, prophecy. Don't ever turn. What? He said, I'm protecting the church. I'm protecting the children. I'm protecting the family. Nothing will happen to them. Don't ever. He said, not everybody I open door of invitation for. You think, you think serving God is, is the way we say it with mouth. Lord, as I touch their wine, face me now. I believe if you have already dropped your sacrifice. Go cross your leg and empty this bottle. Drink all. Hear me. God said he had wiped your tears. Cross your leg. Drink all. Cross your leg. Go. Make sure you have dropped your seed. Listen. When you drop your seed, you activate what has been released. Then you open your skin to drink. Rejoice. For I have entered your home to arrange it again for your peace and your joy, says the Lord. Go. Drop it. Go and cross your leg. Start drinking it. Cross your leg. Go start drinking it. Open your wine. Start drinking Start drinking. Open your wine. I activate the power of God into it. Get ready. I see a serious contract for you. I don't know what you do. Get ready. Thank you, Jesus. Where is your drink? Your wine? You don't have? Go and get it. Listen to me. You will not die. That grave they opened for you, Jesus, have covered the grave. Can anybody give me one for her? Who have extra? Who have extra? Kadosh, Kadosh. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. You will not die. Listen. Drink a little of your wine. The remnants see me with it. I will just see you briefly and then I'm running to go get ready. That church starts very early tomorrow and I have to do service for people back home online. So it's already, it's already daybreak back home. Kadosh, 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 Kadosh. Rise to your feet wherever you are. You have fifty dollars. Please run to the altar. If I can't fifty, you're already here. That means everybody. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19. Don't go back. I've not touched your dream. Make sure I touch your dream. Make sure I touch it. 20, 21, 22. You will love God. 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 Everybody.
am paying for five persons. God will honor you. You have twenty dollars. Can you come? Can you come? Is there anyone who have not partake? You must be part of kingdom movements. You must be part of kingdom movement. You must be part. Now everybody stand up. Take your drink. Cover it fast. Cover it fast. I want to give Bishop microphone. Cover the drink. Open your two hands. Cover the drink. Cover the drink. Is there anyone I've not touched? Kadash, Kadash, Kadash. Where is your drink? Hey, go get drink. Go get drink. Hello, go get drink. And the next three months, I joined faith with my brother, Bishop Ennis, to announce to you that the miracles that seems impossible, the miracle, my God, that seems impossible, your two hands shall carry in the name of Jesus. Your testimony we announce Discovery and Recovery Church. Your testimony we announce Bishop Dr. Ernest Agote. I didn't hear your amen. amen. Now listen. When we close, for those of you Bishop wants to see, make sure you see him. There is only one woman I want to give an instruction before the prophet of prayer she will make. The Lord said that debt is cancelled. Now, listen. Bishop, your children took those, my, those books written in the Holy Ghost. Many of them, they thought the book fell from heaven. It's like you use your mouth and tell them that that book didn't fall from heaven. The book didn't fall from heaven. How many of you have the back to sender booklet? If you don't have it, raise your hand up. You don't have it. Um, Juliet, please help me give them. I have in my, my... When they give you that book, just run and drop whatever you feel as the Holy Spirit leads you so that we can print it when it gets finished. Now, as they are driving me, child of God, wherever you are, with Jesus' joy, put those hands together as I make wake up the major prophet, the guru, the alabaster one, the only bishop with a terrific prophetic anointing. Is it my brother you are celebrating like that? Make some noise as I hand over the microphone. What a beautiful name it is. Lift up your hands. Father, we thank you. What would you say to the woman of God? Thank you, God woman you. of God, the Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. Anointing will increase. Amen. As you are busy doing the work of God, may God lift you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say, what would you say to her again? Amen. She has been a huge blessing to us. She has been with us for the past one month. And uh, it has been a great honor and privilege to have you. Amen. On behalf of the church, we want to say we love you. Amen. On behalf of 
DRC, we want to say we appreciate you. The Lord bless you for the love and everything you have shown to me and the church. God bless you. Please lift up your drink. Say, this is the last time. This is the last time. And this is the last time again. And this is the last time again. My life will be bitter. My life will be bitter. From today. From today. Sweetness. Sweetness. Enter my life. Enter my life. Drink it. Drink it. Enjoy it. Where is your drink? You have finished it? Wow. Some of you, you don't waste time at all. You are very fast in doing things. Drink it, drink it, enjoy it. Where is yours? Drink it. I want to see you drink it. God is settling you permanently with sweetness. Drink it. You be, we've been here for four nights. Clap your hands for yourselves. Those of you that have been here every night, it's not easy. It takes somebody who is born again, who is willing and obedient to do what you have done. Hallelujah. And tomorrow, tomorrow evening, I'm inviting every one of you to the brunch. 706 East 215 Street. 5 p.m. is our service. High tension prophetic service. Palm Sunday service. You can't afford to miss it. Yes, Lord. Have you finished it? Why? Huh? It's too sweet. Your face is so familiar. Have I met you? I've seen you before. Oh. Your face is so familiar. I have a problem. The problem is that I don't remember nothing. And I don't remember people. Unless you are very close to me. Those I see often, fine. But if I see you once in a while, if I see you somewhere, I may not know you again. Unless the Lord speak. That's, that, that's a very big problem I have. So please, it's not that I will see you. If I see you anywhere and I don't remember you, it's not pride, please. Because it's a problem I have. Because of my office as a prophet, I don't remember nothing. Lift up your hands. Sweetness will never depart from you. Amen. Bitterness is gone. Pain is gone Amen. forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Did you give the hundred dollar? No. Give me. Go. Don't. Come. Give it to me. Bring it. When you, there are things you do, you don't know what God is doing. Yes, Lord. Nobody have money to waste. Me that I took money to come and rent this place, rent instrument, and pay people to come here, I, I, I don't have money to waste. Yes, Lord. Why is it done? That somebody will be blessed. Yes, Lord. That someone will be blessed. God is just testing you. Yes, Lord. Testing you with something little. I'm waiting. Whenever you hear God call for anything, if you have it, give it to him. Did you hear me? Take. Father, as she has given, deliver her. She will not use her money to bury people around. She will not use her money to bury anyone. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come, bring the machine. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. We are closing. We are closing. We are closing. It has been great. It has been awesome. Yes, Lord. From Wednesday till now, it has been powerful. Yes, Is it done? Okay, now come, let me pray for you. Drop the card and come. Whenever you go to church and they call for any giving, if you have it, give. There's nothing we have 
that we did not receive. Yes, Lord. Don't let the devil lie to you. You can't survive without money. And there's no money you are looking for that God, God, God cannot give to you. Mm. When God gives you money, it's not only for you. It's for the kingdom and it's for others. So please, don't be stingy. Don't be selfish. Go pick a, a paper. Write a name, Federica. Bring it to me fast. Let me show you what your money can do. Hurry up. Let me show you your, your, what your money can do for you. Money speak. Sacrifice speak. As you were standing here, you were giving. God was busy talking to me. Yes, Lord. She didn't give. And the Lord said, something is about to happen. I'm not wasting any time. Oh. We are done. We are done. No prophecy. Please write it fast and give it to me. Hey, you have. And God is in need of it. And you are holding it. Who is that? Your mother. Stretch your hand towards me, everybody. You will not use your hand to bury those you love. You will not use your hand, your act to clean your own tears. You will not use your hand. Where is she? She's here. Where is here? America. Yes. Queens. She's in Queens. You will not use your hand. I pray. You will not use your hand. Yes, Lord. To clean your own tears. See. You will not use your hand. Yes, Lord. To kill, clean your own tears. Yes, Lord. You will not use your hand. See. 2025. Yes, Lord. You will not use your hand to clean your tears. Amen. Stand as a father. Yes, Lord. I stand as a bishop. I stand as a servant of God. You shall not use your hand. Everybody stretch your hand. Just pray a minute prayer. And stop her tears. Because she's already crying in the realms of the spirit. Stop her tears. Stop it. I'm going to send you <laughs> I'm going to send you. Lord, I declare, let there be an intervention. Amen. Let there be an intervention. Amen. Let there be an intervention. An intervention. Yes, Lord. An intervention. Yes, Lord. An intervention. Yes, Lord. An intervention. Yes, Lord. You love your mom? Yes. You love your mom? The Lord said, I should take you there and touch her and remove death from her body. Yes, Lord. But before I go, God is demanding for more offering. Give more if you have. Hurry up. Hurry up. Fast. Double it. You see what you gave? Give that again. How many children your mother have? Three. Three. A mother with three. Can you give a gift? I don't need it to. Till I would die, I will not need a hundred dollar. I give it to people every day around me. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, tell her. Sa life responds to sacrifice. Yes, Some of the things you do, you don't know what you are doing. You may not know. Nah, you may not know. I told you this little program cost us 10,000. Yes. 10,000. You may not know what you are doing. Why will I come here? You I, I'm, I, won't I rest? Somebody say, Bishop, won't you rest? Tomorrow I'm preaching. So on Wednesday, our conference starts. Our Easter convention starts. And I'll preach every night until Sunday. Why am I doing it? I'm a man on a mission. I'm a prophet to the world. To the nations of the world. Yes, Lord. I obey. Hurry up. Hurry up. Who 
Where is he? Do it for me. Carry my matter for your head. He name be the so like a little baby. You watch over me. You know they carry me, they play. He name be the so. Are you the first child? Yes. Of your mom? Yes. Do you know she loves you so much? I do. Do you know she loves you? I am that prophet. When you meet me, I, God must talk to me. Yes, Lord. Give me your hand. Lord, we travel together. Yes, Lord. We travel together to save a life of our mother. I have her name in my hand. Take us there and set up. She will not die. Amen. She will leave. Yes, Lord. She will not die. Amen. She will leave. Amen. She will not die. Amen. Her children will not cry. Amen. They will not cry. Yes, Lord. They will not cry. Yes, Lord. They shall not cry. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because I saw people coming from Florida to New York for funeral. Florida to New York for a burial service. Florida to New York. Yeah, her mom is coming. Her mom is coming. Yeah, my grandmother. Your grandmother. The Lord said, Professor, it is set up. Yeah. Hear me. I hear from God. I see I'm a prophet. I don't, I'm, I don't drive Uber. I am not a teacher. Someone. My job as a, 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 in this life, I sit in the office of a prophet and I hear from Yahweh. Yes, Lord. I saw people coming from Florida. Have you saw Gloria? Who is that? <laughs> That's my grandmother. That's your grandmother? That's your professor. Gloria coming. An old woman. Old woman. Very old. She's not a, a young girl. Coming to cry for her daughter. To cry. Which is an error. A mother should not bury a child, which is an error. Yes, Lord. Thank God you are in church. Amen. You didn't come for yourself. So I'm not hearing anything about you. If I want to hear about you, I will hear. But I'm not hearing. God is not first telling me anything about you. But rather, he's telling me about a problem that is knocking at the door of the family. Yes, Lord. That nobody has seen. Professor. But thank God for revelation that brings redemption. Amen. I declare. Yes, you will Lord. not cry. Amen. You will 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 not cry. Amen. You shall not cry. Amen. In the Power name of Jesus. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When was the last time you talked to your grandmother? It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. Call her tomorrow and check on her. She's also not feeling too strong. Okay? Yeah. Is she up to 90? 92. 92? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she's, not a she's not a little child. So somebody like that to bury her, her daughter, to bury her 64 years daughter, is an She's about that. She's about that. You don't know, but God knows. All right. I'm going to send you with a bottle of oil. You go to your mom. Just give it to her. That is from a man of God. You will buy it yourself. Give it to me. I'll just pray over it. You will go. There's a place called Glassboro. I'll send you there. Sit down. Someone. The Lord said I should tell you, you're going to see money. You will make money. But use your money to build the, the kingdom of God. Do you go to church? Start going to church. Hmm? Start going to church. You are, you are a very great person, but... Your, your parts don't have God in it. 
So bring God in your part. Did you hear me? Yes. Bring God in your part. Okay. And secondly, anything that will make you lose a license of operation. License of operation. I just heard it. Cancel it. Pray against it. I'll pray for you and I'll cancel it. License of operation. I don't know who is a nurse in your family. Who is that? An S. A nurse. An, oh, me. You. LPN or RN. Which of them? Both. Both. All right. <laughs> you will not lose your license Amen. under no circumstances. Shall you lose your license? Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Stand up. I want to pray for you. Have you been to a place called, have you been to, not Fort Lauderdale, Lauderdale before? I live in Fort Lauderdale. You live in, you live in Fort Lauderdale? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's where you stay? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to pray for you against a heart condition. Did you hear me? Yes. The Lord said I should pray against a heart problem. A heart problem. That's all he told me. I pray against a heart problem. Whatsoever is going on in your system that is not of God must be terminated. Must be terminated. Amen. Must be terminated. Amen. Must be terminated. Amen. Must be canceled. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. I cancel whatsoever is going on in the realms of the spirit. Yes, Lord. Our children are how many? Three. Three. How many boys? One. How many girls? Two. Hey. The way that food from China. It's, it's not the original. Put it in water. Just get some water and put it inside. Give me your hand. Can I have a bucket of water? Let's put that phone inside. There are some phones, if you are turning them off, they will not off. You can't silence them, you cannot off them. Put them in water. Everybody stretch your hand towards her. We are closing, we are done. We are done. If I want to prophesy, I will do like this now. But no time. Tomorrow come to the Bronx. 706. East 215th Street, Bronx, New York. 5, p 5 p.m. we begin. We start. Your health will not fail you. Mm. I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't like what I'm seeing. Everybody stand up. I want us to pray only one prayer. Say, Lord, Lord, as I am living here, as I am living sorrow here, sorrow will not locate me. Sorrow will not locate me. Tears will not locate me. Tears will not locate me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I leave this place, as I leave this place. Sorrow, sorrow, tears, tears will not locate me. Will not locate me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you, and a young lady appeared before me. And said I should pray for her too. Mm. I asked, Who are you? She said, that My name is Samantha. My daughter. Huh? My Your daughter. daughter. Professor. Samantha. That's all I just heard. So I'm going to pray for both of you. But there's no time. So I'm bringing you tomorrow. Yes, Lord. Tomorrow. Listen. You you come tomorrow. You come tomorrow. You come. If you come, I'll talk to you about somebody by the name Lloyd. Your husband. Okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll continue tomorrow. Don't worry. I told you we have close. We have done what? Close. Who? 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 
She's leaving tomorrow. Ah. Uh-uh. You have been in this town four days. I'm not seeing you. She will make it. Bring her. Go and bring her. Go home and go and bring her. Father, we thank you. Oh, you are you are not going. You are you are leaving tomorrow. Oh, you don't live here. You are going back to where? Fort Lauderdale tomorrow. Oh. What time is your flight? 4.50. 4.50? How am I seeing 6 zero written on your head? How old are you? 60. 60. Shop. All is not well with your family. There's so much going on. If you are leaving tomorrow, then I'll think I'll have to, I'll have to pray for you and do something for you before you leave. All right? Because I thought you are going to be here tomorrow. There tomorrow. Lift up your hand. Tomorrow. I want to see you. Go and buy me Vaseline. Do you know what is Vaseline? Yes. Do you know what is Vaseline? Yes. I saw you at the hospital bleeding bad. Get me Vaseline. Bring it to me. Did you hear? If you like, come on. If you like, no come on. Major. Lift up your hand. Lift it up. Come, do you know any family by the name Soklombo? Soklombo. Soklombo. There is a family by that name. See, our time is due. Let me close before they pursue us from here. Because we work with time here. If we go above the time. Give me a hand. Your children, how many are they? Two. Two. How many boys? Two boys. Two boys. One deceased. One deceased mm-hmm. is dead. Yes. And one is alive. Yes. Wow. So who is Joshua? You know Joshua. You don't know? No. Let me see the picture of your son that died. If you have it, let me tell you what killed your son. Lift up your hand. Wave it. Say, Father. Father. Thank you. Thank you. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Say, Jehovah. Jehovah. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When you come to see me, you remind me of a number 449. Don't forget it. That 449 is located on 48th Street. In Florida. Write it, please. Before you forget. If you forget me, I can't remember again. Wave your hands. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we thank you. Jehovah, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Say all my problems. All my problems. It's over. It's over. Say, Lord. Lord. Every problem. Every problem. Around me. Around me. It's over. It's over. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every sickness. Every sickness. It's over. It's over. Every pain. Every pain. It's over. It's over. Every attack. Every attack. It's over. It's over. Every disease. Every disease. It's over. It's over. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Right now. I declare. I declare. My freedom. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of now, Jesus. Everybody, lift up your hand. I need your two hands up. Father. Father. We've been in your presence for the past four nights. Yes, Lord. They came. They obeyed. Yes, Lord. They obeyed. Jesus. As you said. Yes, Lord. They will. They have. Mm. And you said unto me that none of them will escape your blessing. Yes, Lord. We are here. Our hands are lifted. Please lift your hand. Lift up your hand. Our hands are lifted. Yes, I declare. Lord. What soul river you have. Jesus. What so river you have. Yes, Lord. For everyone here. Yes, Lord. As I lay oil on their heads. Yes, Lord. Give it to them. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I prophesy. I receive it. None of you will escape. 
Yes, Lord. The promises of God this Amen. week. Amen. None of you escape the bouncing back, back grace. Yes, Lord. The anointing to bounce back. Yes. Lay my hand on you. Jesus. Receive it. I receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jesus. You come to me, I anoint you. You go. Come to me, I anoint you. You go. I anoint you. You go. I anoint you, you go, unless I ask you to wait for me. Wait for me. I anoint you. 